What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily. So at CES last month, I had the opportunity to check out the latest Wi-Fi products from Tenda. And I have to say, if you've been holding off on upgrading your at-home network, it's about to be a great time to finally do that. If you aren't already familiar, Tenda is a pretty big player in the Wi-Fi and networking space. They offer everything from single Wi-Fi routers to mesh systems, professional networking gear, and even security cameras. But at CES, their booth was a buzz about all things Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi 7, the next new standard for connectivity. Wi-Fi 7 has a number of advantages over Wi-Fi 6 and 6E, the current standards. And I'll go over what's new with that, along with some of their upcoming Wi-Fi 7 devices that Tenda showed off. But even Tenda's current lineup of Wi-Fi 6 products could deliver a wider, faster, and more reliable network than your current hardware. I've had the chance to review a couple Tenda Wi-Fi systems in the past. This one here is their AX3000 Whole Home Mesh Wi-Fi 6 system. Their products are super easy to set up, and paired with their app, they offer all the tools you'd need to take full advantage of your network. A mesh Wi-Fi system like this is perfect for larger homes or office spaces. You'll get three Wi-Fi points that you strategically place all around to expand your network coverage coverage across up to 7,000 square feet, and you could connect up to 160 different devices. You can also utilize this to get a signal in a spot that you might otherwise wouldn't. Basements, garages, casitas, any Wi-Fi dead zones. No matter what Tenda product you choose, you get everything you need inside the box. Here you'll find the three Wi-Fi routers along with a simple instruction booklet, and three power cables along with an Ethernet cable if you need it. With mesh Wi-Fi systems like these, all three Wi-Fi points are identical. You'll just use one as your main router and the other two as your expanded Wi-Fi points. But they all have their own dedicated Ethernet ports for lightning fast wired speeds and, in this case, ultra fast dual band Wi-Fi 6 technology for up to 2,976 megabits per second combined wireless speeds. All of Tenda's consumer at home products are literally plug and play. Just connect up the power plug and your cable modem to one of the routers and follow the on screen instructions on the app and you're pretty much good to go. The Tenda app automatically detects your internet settings, sets up your new Wi-Fi network, and can start creating the mesh network with the additional Wi-Fi points you have as you start to place them around your home and power them on. And like I mentioned earlier, Tenda's app gives you full control over every aspect of your network. So whether you just need to adjust some simple settings, enable parental controls or a guest network, check the devices that are connected to the network, or play around with some of those more advanced settings, you can do it all and more right from your phone. A Wi-Fi 6 system like this is great by today's standards. A good number of devices, including the latest smartphones and laptops, can take full advantage of the 6 GHz Wi-Fi 6 band to deliver faster, more reliable speeds and clear up some congestion so that other connected devices can utilize the lesser 2.4 band. And if you just want to opt for a fast, current Wi-Fi system for your home that'll still be good for a little while, something like this is certainly great to own. But if you really want to future-proof your network, Tenda's upcoming Wi-Fi 7 products aim to be the industry leader for this new network standard. Wi-Fi 7 aims to be a better, faster network standard, particularly for the increasing network speeds we're able to get now and for the vast vast number of devices that are often connected to a single network or band. The name of the game here is maximizing the speed potential and minimizing the congestion. The speed capabilities of Wi-Fi 7 are pretty ridiculous actually, five times faster than Wi-Fi 6, up to 46 gigabits per second. And tri-band support, similar to Wi-Fi 6, where you get 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz network bands all at once. But the 6 gigahertz bands now have an even greater capacity for devices. Wi-Fi 7 might be overkill for some folks right now, but when you consider just how many connected devices the average home has nowadays and the big push for 6 GHz network support, I suspect Wi-Fi 7 will soon be an essential standard for delivering the fastest possible speeds and most reliable Wi-Fi network for everything. Most importantly, while wireless technology has certainly evolved quickly over the last few years, upgrading your router isn't something you necessarily need to do all that often. Odds are it's been years since you set up your home Wi-Fi network, so you're probably due for an upgrade now. And with a Wi-Fi 7 setup today, you're pretty much future-proofing your Wi-Fi for years to come. And that, in my opinion, is one of the biggest reasons to consider making the jump. You aren't playing catch-up for once, 
you're actually getting ahead of the technology. Tendo showcased three different Wi-Fi 7 products at CES that all should launch later this year. They had the TE60 Pro, an antenna-clad standalone router, the EE60 Pro, which is their mesh network offering, and the A36, a tri-band Wi-Fi 7 range extender. Now, I think for most people, the TE60 Pro actually is the router to get. This should be a great single hardware setup for both wireless and wired connectivity. This thing is powered by the Broadcom 2.6 GHz CPU. It has MLO or multi-link operation support, which is another Wi-Fi 7 feature where your devices can use all three bands simultaneously rather than having to stick with, say, just the 5 GHz band or just the 6 GHz band. And this increased throughput reduces latency and generally just improves reliability. The eight high gain antenna that are all around this thing afford you a wide signal coverage area. And for those of you who prefer to stay connected, around back, the TE60 offers two 10 gigabit ports and three 2.5 gigabit ports. So from casual at-home internet browsing to competitive gaming, this should fill the need for just about everyone. If you need a bit more coverage, maybe you have a large home or office space, or perhaps there's a room or area that's a bit of a Wi-Fi dead zone, the Nova EE60 Pro is Tenda's mesh Wi-Fi 7 offering. It's gonna have a lot of the same network capabilities as the TE60 router, but you get three of these very slim sleek looking Wi-Fi routers to place all around your area. With a mesh network setup, you could get coverage for up to a thousand square meters of space. Now, even though a mesh setup like this aims to expand your wireless network, the EE60 Pro also offers a couple 10 gigabit and 2.5 gigabit ports around back, so you can take full advantage of the fastest possible wired speeds as well. And altogether, this means you've obviously got a powerhouse of a network setup, no matter the connection type, the number of devices, or the online activity you might be doing. Mesh Wi-Fi networks are always my preference nowadays, even for a space as small as my condo. They're not only a great way to just expand your overall coverage, but also ensure that you're getting to use the fastest possible Wi-Fi speeds everywhere in your home or office. If you don't necessarily need a whole three router mesh setup, or maybe you need more than just a three router mesh setup, Tenda is also launching their A36 range extender. And this is going to be a simple plug and play Wi-Fi booster that plugs into the wall and broadens that network coverage even more. More. You could have a whole bunch of these positioned around, say, a large office space, and since they just plug directly into the wall and don't take up much space and don't require any other cables, I think they're great for just keeping things simple. Again, this range extender has all the same capabilities and benefits of Wi-Fi 7 all packaged together in this compact little adapter. And for folks who want a super simple setup for expanding their Wi-Fi, this is definitely going to be a great option. One other thing I just want to mention, when it comes to Wi-Fi and internet internet speeds, chances are most people aren't actually utilizing what they're paying for. If you've had the same Wi-Fi router for maybe four or five years now, perhaps even longer than that, but your internet speeds have been improving, or maybe you're paying more now for supposed faster internet gigabit speeds, for example, you could be paying for something that you're not actually able to use at all. Over the last couple of years, Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E have allowed us to take some big leaps in the whole network connectivity space, and most of the devices you use every day can take full advantage of these newer, faster, and more reliable Wi-Fi standards. And with Wi-Fi 7 now, that's going to take things even further. So I highly recommend looking into what sort of Wi-Fi speeds you can get in your area, what you're actually paying for, and what speeds you're actually getting on each device. You can run a simple speed test on your phone, for example, to see what Wi-Fi speeds you're getting. There's definitely going to be some fall off compared to the advertised wired speeds, but you should still at least get a pretty good connection based on what you're paying for. If not, your hardware likely is the issue. You might be surprised to find out that upgrading your Wi-Fi setup to one of these new products from Tenda with the Wi-Fi 6E or Wi-Fi 7 standard might just yield you a much better connection across the board for all of your devices. So there you go, that's the lowdown on all things Wi-Fi 7 and some of Tenda's upcoming products for the year. I do hope to try out their latest and greatest Wi-Fi products in the coming months in my own home so we can put it to the test and really see if Wi-Fi 7 is all the rage. So definitely stay tuned for that, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what kind of Wi-Fi speeds you get in the comments down below. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter and 
subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.